Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. Now it has been a little while that I released the first vlog but I definitely want to keep this going and I figured this week was especially good to do another vlog because I have received something in the mail that made me very very happy. Now, I didn't think I'd be receiving this for maybe another half year or maybe even a year because I heard that they're actually really slow sending these ones out. Now, I didn't actually order it and it came from the US and if you do follow my main channel, you probably already know what this is anyways. So let's unpack it anyways because I'm just really excited. A whole bunch of bubble wrap. Let's drop this on the ground. Nicely packaged up. Get rid of that. It's a really nice and shiny box. And in this shiny box, I have the silver play button from YouTube for surpassing 100,000 subscribers on my main channel. I am really happy to have received this. I didn't think I'd get it this fast. And thank you very much to everyone who is subscribed to my main channel for supporting me and watching all my silly filmmaking and visual effects tutorials. Didn't think I'd get 100,000 people actually wanting to watch all my crazy stuff, but apparently they do. So thank you very much. Without you, this would not be possible. I'm really, really happy. Uh, let's actually take this out of the box. Nice, that's a little picture frame. And at the bottom, I don't know if you can read this, it says, congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And then you obviously have a really nice and shiny silver play button. Thank you so much. I think, I don't know whether I want to hang it on the wall. I think I'd be a bit worried that it'll fall and crack. I think I'll just place it somewhere because it's nice and small. On a related note, I actually just announced the winners from a 100,000 subscriber contest over on my main channel, so go check that out. There were a ton of awesome entries. I think I got almost 100 entries, which was way more than I expected, and a lot of them were really well done. People had put in a lot of effort to win. Um, I did feel a little bit bad because some people had really great entries, but they didn't get the number right. The right number was 28, by the way. Um, so I did get a lot of things where I'm like, ah, maybe the number wasn't that great an idea, but I did want to reward long-term subscribers, so I kind of felt maybe it was appropriate. I'm not sure what I'll do next time if I run a contest, which I may do maybe at 500,000 or somewhere off in the future. I know everybody's now screaming, give me another contest, I want to do another entry, I want to win some more. I'm like, yeah, but I don't want my channel to just be about contests. My main focus is really making tutorials for you guys. I love making tutorials also because it keeps me on my feet. I have to learn new things and then as I learn them, I want to show you how to do all of those things. It's much more what I enjoy and I do want to focus on creating some more tutorials. So that's why the next contest probably won't be for a little while. As I said, maybe when I reach half a million, which I probably don't see happening for another two, three years anyways at the rate I'm growing. But there will be more contests in the future. And again, I might reconsider how I structure the rules and how you can win at those points. But it's still a bit off. Um, I'll worry about that when I get there. For now, tutorials will be coming. I'm currently working on the next tutorial. Um, it will actually be a Premiere Pro tutorial, a fairly quick one, just because it's just a little bit busy at the moment. So it'll be a fairly quick tutorial, but hopefully useful for Premiere Pro. And then after that, there'll be more After Effects tutorials. And again, I'll probably be balancing it a little bit. I've been enjoying doing some Premiere tutorials and sounds like you guys have been enjoying watching some Premiere tutorials. So I do want to do a few more of those. I've also been looking at doing something for Adobe Audition and potentially some Photoshop um, just because the tools I use, tools I love to create things with and obviously therefore something I have an interest in teaching others how to use. Again, leave me some comments down below if there's specific things that you know you always wanted to figure out and maybe if it aligns with what I'm doing anyways, I might make a tutorial for it. Now, I love getting requests from all of you for new tutorials and I do actually have an official list where I record all of those requests. However, the list for requests has gotten so ridiculously long. It's like Santa Claus Christmas wishing list. It's like a huge list of requests for all sorts of effects. It's a little bit too crazy. And given that I only release a video every two weeks or a tutorial every two weeks at most, if I'm, you know, if I'm doing well, um, I don't think I'd ever get through that list even if I tried. So I've kind of accepted the fact that I just can't do all of the requests. Quite frankly, I don't always want to do requests anyways. I want to do the tutorials that I want to make. Otherwise, I feel if I was only ever doing request tutorials, I think, I think I'd start hating it. It would feel just like a job and I don't want this to feel like a job. This is a passion, a hobby, something I enjoy doing and 
know, it's a creative outlet and that's what I wanted to stay. Um, therefore, I kind of am always a little reluctant on taking on too many requests. There's always some in there, like if I get a lot of requests for the same style of tutorial, the same type of tutorial, I'm going like, oh yeah, let's do that one now because it makes sense. There's a lot of you know, demand for it, but generally I usually slot it in the list to kind of look at later. I've got the next eight tutorials, I believe, I've got planned out. So the next eight videos are actually pre-planned pre already. And I'm trying to bulk up at the moment a little bit because I'm going on a few holidays later in the year. So it's a little bit hard to manage and I have to make sure that I've got videos online ahead of time and then schedule them to be released on a two week cycle because otherwise I may not have the time to create tutorials often enough and then I'll fall behind and then suddenly there won't be a video for a whole month, which I don't want to happen either, but it's a little bit of juggling my time around and you know planning it a bit smarter to bulk up and build a few tutorials ahead of time, put them online, schedule them out and then release them over time. It's always a little bit of a challenge, but you know, we'll see how we go towards the end of the year. Now, I think that was enough ranting. Um, if you did enjoy this vlog or if you didn't enjoy this vlog or if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, requests, gossip, whatever, leave it down in the section below. I usually always get around to answering my comments, although because this is my second channel, I don't check this quite as often for new comments, but at least once a week I hop over here to see if there's any new comments and I do answer those as well. And that's it. There's going to be more vlogs because I love keeping you guys up to date with what is going on with Surface Studio. Um, obviously share some gossip, some ranting and some exciting stuff like my YouTube plaque with you guys, um, which has made me really happy this week. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.